Power management issues can often be the cause of unwanted errors while using Pro Tools. A good, high-performance power plan can ensure that your computer never interrupts you while in session. Here's how to set up and modify an optimal power plan for making music with Pro Tools. To set up a power plan, we need to be in the control panel. From the start menu, just click on control panel to open it. If your control panel looks like this, grouped together by category, then just view them by large icon. This makes it easier to find things like the power options. Now by default, Windows will have the recommended balance plan active. Not so good for real-time music apps, better to favor a high performance one, and for sure, not a power saver. Now on the left side, click create a power plan, and you want to base the plan on high performance. Give the plan a custom name and then hit next. Now your computer should never ever sleep. Your display or monitor, that should also be working just as hard. Now go ahead and create the plan. Your plan will now be the active one. Let's change it further. Click on the advanced power settings and you want to make sure that your C drive or any other hard drive you have for that matter is never going to go to sleep on you mid-session. You also don't want anything potentially suspending anything USB related. Disable this option for sure, especially if you have an Mbox or an Mbox Mini connected to a USB port. Now hit apply or just OK, it's the same thing and cancel out back to power options. OK, USB root hub maintenance. You're going to find this in the device manager, which is back in the control panel. Come down to the bottom and click the universal serial bus controllers. At the bottom of the list is a USB root hub for every USB port on your computer. You want to modify every single one of these. Just double click and select the power management tab. There'll be an option that's checked. Allow computer to turn off this device to save power. No way. You want to turn this off. Again, if your audio interface is connected to one of these USB ports, you don't ever, and I can't stress this enough, ever want that port being interrupted while you're doing anything like music in real time. And that's it. Checklist done. A restart? Not necessary for these changes. But if you're in doubt, do it anyway.